Hi, this is a quick demo of the Expert Sleepers ESX4CV encoder Max MSP external for driving the Expert Sleepers ESX4CV module, which is this one here. Um, it's connected to channel 6 of the ES5, which is this one here, um, which is in turn connected to the ES3. So, um, to drive all this stuff, we'll just need to make um, the ESX4CV encoder. To get that into the ES5, we'll need the ES5 encoder. And then to get that out to the um, hardware, we'll need a DAC. Sending to my ADAT channels, like so. Just connect these up. Boom Bosch. Um, so that's channel 6. There we go. Now these four inputs correspond to the four outputs of the ESX4CV. Um, they can just take numbers or they can take signals. Uh, let's just do it with a number first of all. Good point. Um, output 1. Now these numbers are directly um, accessing the 12-bit DAC of the ESX4CV encoder output. So um, they go from uh, 2048 is the maximum positive one, and minus 2048 is the maximum negative one. So there you go. That's uh, mildly tedious to do by scrolling with the mouse, but you can see the point I'm making. Now what's probably more useful is to send that actual signals. So if I make, for example, um, an LFO, let's make a half hertz one, then scale that up to the appropriate range, uh, the minus one to one by output by default to minus 2047 for the sake of argument, 2047, there we go. And let's put that on output one. So there we go, you can see I've got another phone running now, and if I want to make another one on another channel, uh, let's make a saw, we got a saw, yeah. Make a one hertz saw, and I'll duplicate that, pop that in there, and let's use output four. And now I've got output four as another LFO there. Um, Looks like the output of the saw is not minus one to one, but probably it's probably not to one, isn't it? Let's change that then. No, maybe, oh, God knows what it is. <laughs> I don't use Max much. Let's see, is it that? No, don't know what it is. Anyway, let's bin the saw then, because I clearly don't understand it, and replace it with another one of those. Pop that in there. go change its frequency to something else anyway there we are two LFOs running now um, so you get the point you can stick any audio you want through those four inputs of the encoder and it'll pop out one of the ESX4CV's outputs there you go cheers